So today we're going to show you our favorite recipe for cooking duck, goose, dove. We've even used this on crow and you could use it for quail as well. Right here we have a whole duck and we're actually not going to be cooking it as a whole bird. We're going to actually remove the skin and we're going to cut this bird up into small pieces He's despicable. and we're going to cook it on the broiling pan and we're going to show you how we do that using bacon, jalapeno slices, some pepper jack cheese, and some toothpicks. It's really simple and it just takes a few minutes to do once you have the bird all cut up. Let's get started. But before we get started, we have a quick word from our sponsor. Hey, Rambo here. I'd like to tell you about this new gum. It's called Cow Lick Bubble Gum. Good stuff, you ought to try it. And it tastes better after you eat it twice, too. You should just swallow it down. Bring it back up and then chew it some more. It's really good stuff. Remember, cow lick bubble gum. It's better than cud. Okay, back to you, Ranchero. So, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the breast meat. And on this particular bird, uh, we're going to have to remove the skin as well. But if you can take a fillet knife, which is what I like to use because it's sharp and it cuts really easy, uh, you can take your knife and follow that breastbone on both sides to remove the meat. Just keep working your way down. And to remove the skin here, I'm just lightly taking my knife right in between the meat and the skin being careful not to cut the meat up. Now, if this was a bird that had been shot, Confidentially, those hunters couldn't hit the broad side of a duck. <laughs> There's a good chance that you may have small pellets in the meat or blood had somehow gotten into the meat as well. And if that's the case, you may want to take the meat and put it in a plastic bag with some salt and let it soak in that salt water for about 24 hours, which will draw the blood out of the meat before you use it. You can also marinate the meat beforehand as well, whichever marinate you like, teriyaki sauce, soy sauce, However you want to marinate, that's a great option as well. But with this bird being a, a farm-raised bird, we're just going to go straight to cooking it. If you're not able to raise or obtain your own duck meat, there are several grocery stores out there that do sell it, along with other different kinds of meats. Let's take a look at this place. Wow, this place has everything. They have frog legs frozen rabbit, whole duck. I wonder what season it is. Duck season, rabbit season, duck season, rabbit season, duck season, rabbit season. Wow, that looks great. They have golden quail. Oh, look, a six packs of quail. They've got, I don't know what all that stuff is. Oh, look. Frozen beef tongue. What is the cow gonna do without its tongue? They even have a fresh fish and seafood market. But it, we'll save that for another episode. Wow, it doesn't get much fresher than this. All right, let's head back to the kitchen. And all I'm doing here is just following that breastbone all the way down. as I remove this breast meat. And 
Now we have a nice piece of meat right here. What we do now is I'll cut this meat into small bite-sized pieces. All right, now we have, on this particular bird, because it is a whole bird, we've got the legs and thighs that we can also cut up. There's not a whole lot of meat on the wings. If you really wanted to take the time to dig at them and try to get it, you can. But uh, for this video and to save some time, we're just gonna try to get these li a little bit of this leg meat off. So, while I continue to remove the meat from the legs, I'm gonna have Robin show you, once we have the meat cut up into small little pieces, what we do from there. I'm gonna cut the bacon into thirds. All right. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of bacon, and take one of these pieces of the duck, and jalapeno. Put the jalapeno right on the duck and then wrap the bacon around both of them. Now if you don't like hot stuff or if you have a sensitive tongue to heat, you can obviously leave <laughs> you can obviously leave the jalapeno off uh, and it'll still taste great. Okay, so piece of bacon. The duck breast, jalapeno, wrap it around there, and then put the toothpick right in the middle so it all stays together. And then we're gonna stick it on the broiling pan. We're gonna keep doing that. And then after, we're gonna put them in the broiler for just a few minutes on each side. And then we're gonna put some pepper jack cheese on the top, the very end and it really makes it good. Now we're gonna put them in the oven under the broiler for about three minutes each side. Now that we've cooked them on one side, now we're gonna take them out, flip them over, and cook them on the other side for about three more minutes. Once they've cooked on both sides, now it's time to add the final touch, the pepper jack cheese. Everybody loves cheese, that's why we buy a whole box of cheese. Vamonos cheese into the box for me first, save some for me, yeah me too. Now that we've added the cheese, we're gonna put them in the oven one last time for about 30 seconds or until the cheese starts to melt. And that's it, it's just that simple. Now all that's left is to eat this delicious duck. All right, let's give this a try, see if it's any good. Mmm, mmm, that is amazing. It's hot, but it's good. <laughs> it's so good. So, today, I'm talking with my mouth full. We had some guests that came to our farm and they have no idea we were currently filming. So we're gonna 
invite them to come in and take a sample of our duck meat that we just fixed. So we have the Wright Farms and we have Kinfolk Farms of Georgia here and we're gonna let them try the duck. Now, it is a little bit hot, so be careful. But you have to tell us what you think. What you really think. What do you think? <laughs> they had no idea that we were doing this, so this is, uh, that's good. Is that oh, good? I got some spice to it, but it's good. Mm. It's great. Is it good? Mm, that's really, it's really good. good. You guys want to try some? Is it spicy? No, it's pretty good. It doesn't look like, but not that. Yeah. Mm, excellent. Mm -hmm. The duck is ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you can do this with goose, oh, it's crow. Cute. Crow. We've done it with crow. Okay. <laughs> Eating crow and it's good. Um, dove, dove is a great option. Oh yeah. And quail, you can do it with quail too. Um, but yeah, it's a great way to cook that kind of meat. That, that is really fantastic. Good. Have some more. That is yeah, thank definitely. You. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely good. That is fantastic. That's a good surprise. Nice surprise. <laughs> but thank y'all for joining us and uh, like to thank the Wright Farms nice. and Kinfolk Farms of Georgia for coming by and seeing us today and, and being with us and sampling some of this duck meat. Thanks for having us. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thank you. We'll see y'all next time. Again. Hey amigo, subscribe and ring that bell. No, 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 no,